welcome back to my channel. This is Guitar Made Easy by Kizito. I hope you all good. If this is your first time on this channel, please subscribe and hit the post notification bell. If this is not your first time and you subscribe, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Yeah, comment section is down below. You know, just do the things. But anyway, so today I'll be teaching you guys how to play Nara by Travis Green. Okay, I'm gonna teach you guys on the key of G. This is not a, a hard song to play. So like four chord progression. It's like we just rotate in different parts of the song, like the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. So yeah, let's get straight to it. Firstly, we're gonna practice the chords. As you can see somewhere down here, I have the chords for your verse. So first we're gonna go through the verse, and then the pre-chorus, and then the chorus. And then from there, we're gonna go to our strumming pattern, and then we'll play everything to the, together, so, together, together. Right. So let's start with our chords first. For our verse, our first chord is G. And then, right? The time signature for the song is 4 over 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So, this, our first chord is G. 1. Don't, don't worry about how I'm strumming right now. You, I'll show you guys later in a few. So, let's just first learn how to position the chords and stuff. So, first is our G. 1, 2, 3. Then our C. Uh, e minor, D, right? That's the verse. He's done so much for me, right? See, and I cannot tell it all. Right? So that's for the verse. It's basically the same chord, just rotated. As I'm playing, just read along on the chord charts, so you can like on the tabs, so you can know what I'm playing. Right. So now for the choruses, G. So the verse and the chorus is the same chord progression. Your G your C, your E minor, and then your D. The only different one is your pre-chorus, where you go from your G to your C, then from your C to your D, and back to your G. That's the chord progression. If you didn't understand me, I'll go slowly again. So for the verse, it's your G, right? And then your C, and then your E minor. One, two, D, one, two, G, one, two, Three, four. Then for your pre-chorus is your G. One, two, three, four C. One, two, three, four. For D. Two, three, four G. One, two, three, four. So that's for your pre-chorus where he sings. What shall I render? That's for that part. And the verse is. Uh, he has done so much for me. Da, 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 da. But now the good thing is the verse and the chorus has the same chords. Da, 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 da. So it's your G. C. 2, 3, E minor. 1, 2, D. 1, 2, D. Right. Okay, so that's your chord progression for the whole song. You just have to now. Ask yourself how many times you want to sing the verse, how many times you want to sing the pre-chorus, and how many times you want to sing the chorus. Right. So now with, with that said, let's now practice the strumming. This is a strumming pattern I use for no, for most of the over four or two over so or over four time signature songs. It's basically down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So if 
you already know this pattern, then it's perfect. If you don't know it, just pause the video, go back, start slowly, read the pattern, and just practice slowly before you can play together with the chords, right? So, now that we know the, the, the strumming pattern, what we do now is we're going to play the song together. So, what I'm going to do is, the verse I'm going to play twice, the chorus I'm going to play twice, and the pre-chorus I'm going to play twice, right? Okay, so, let's start. One, two, three, four. so you guys can have an idea why it should sound like don't mind the way my guitar sounds it's not an acoustic so it's it's a nylon string it's easier to carry around so but yeah just take your time do the different parts of the song practice them slowly you know don't rush into finishing how to play the song just take your time if you make a mistake you pause the video you go back you watch again then you continue there's no point in rushing i mean there's no rushing when it comes to learning because if you rush you end up not learning anything so yeah so yeah i hope this video helped you guys if it did don't forget to like comment share, and subscribe and if you have any uh, song suggestions or videos that you would like me to do just you know, i'll see you guys next time peace